Oh, good morning, everyone. So it is, uh, what is it today? It's Monday. And I thought I have not vlogged in a very, very long time. So, hello, and welcome to today's vlog. It's kind of snowing here today, or like barely snowing, snow raining. And I'm out with little bubbles. <sighs> I don't really have any plans today. It's gonna be a very, very normal day in my life. <laughs> um, fucking kids. So this month of February, I have struggled a lot with the one fact a day. Um, I think I've missed like, I don't know, a week, 10 days. Um, but I, I don't feel bad about it because that New Year's resolution I'm not gonna quit it, I'm gonna keep going, of course. Um, but it's just, it was there for me to get inspired and to kind of just learn new things because I enjoy it. So if I miss a few days, I'm not gonna beat myself up about it. The New Year's resolution wasn't to like force myself to do it every day. It was just to kind of help me, like, I don't know, learn new things in a easier way or like give me a reason to learn new things so yes i missed a few days but it's not a big deal um and for the end of the month video i am gonna have 28 facts so it's not like it's not necessarily day to day bound you can do three facts in a day the world won't end now i am waiting for my coffee because my throat is sore as shit and i don't know why So last week was really like hectic and I had a lot of things I had to do and had to keep on my mind and plan and all of that stuff. So I actually did my first weekly spread in my bullet journal. So I just have like February dates and then I have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. I'm returning both pairs of glasses that I showed you guys because, ew, let's see, uh, neither of them felt like perfect so there's no point in keeping any of them because if they're not perfect then I might find another pair that actually is perfect so both pairs are going up back to Slovakia. So many errands I have to run today. I have to return this package and uh, also go to the library to get a copy of my ID because we don't have a printer or a copy machine at home. So I need a copy of my ID to send in to this, uh, like, I don't know, share, buying, selling, stocks, share crap company because they need the identification crap because I'm an American citizen, blah, blah, blah. Be done now I just have to post this thing and go get some breakfast and post the package <laughs> I just got two things done that I have been putting off one for a month if not more and the other for at least like a week <laughs> so it always feels good to get things done here comes the breakfast express hello vlog look home. what cat just brought why don't you start it's gonna be a queue when i get done it's gonna be a queue yes how many people are gonna be in the queue me <laughs> and rascal you just told him you couldn't get any. Yeah, well, we'll get him. Hey guys, uh, fitness hashtag healthy breakfast. Write something fun. Make a heart. And a heart? No. Boring. Breakfast time. So I kind of should clean today. The apartment is like casual, everyday messy, but it just annoys me so much that 
I should clean. I really need to vacuum, I should do some mopping. <laughs> Pant is one of those words where I don't, I honestly don't know if it's a word in English or if it's just made up. Recycle pants. Yeah, I know that, but like, I, I could easily say pant to an American and expect them to understand. I, 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 some words I just don't know. But pant is a, a word. When do you say you, pant? When you do, when you do this. Yeah, that's panting. panting. <laughs> Now I can keep cleaning. Yay! Yay! Yeah. No, it's uh, a very coincidence that the vlogging turns out the same day as uh, the game. Yeah, and you know why that is? Because people enjoy watching time lapses of people who clean. Why? Because it's so satisfying, I guess. You took the money, right? No. Are you kidding? No. No, I don't. No. Do you think it's still there? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. So all the money we get from recycling is still left in the machine. So if someone else went to recycle, we'll get our money. Sake. I don't have time for this. Running downstairs without a bra on? Not nice. Of course there's some asshole recycling right now. Well, I guess he needs to cash more than we do. <laughs> Fucking ass. tweeted about making a vision board um, which I have made here. If you guys want a video on how I made the vision board and what's on it then uh, like this video. Now I've cleaned every room except the bathroom so I'm gonna clean the bathroom and then I'm going to vacuum, mop and then I'm done! Woo!
Hey guys, so I failed a little bit because I went to the gym and I was like, oh, I'll bring you guys along to the gym. I forgot you guys at home, so sorry about that. Ooh. But now I shall be cooking dinner for the family. On today's menu we have spaghetti with some mm. bolognese. So, uh, am I gonna act surprised because I asked you to do it? Yeah, act surprised. Ooh, I didn't know this was on the menu today. Yeah, are you happy about it? Yeah. Okay, so I've eaten the food now and now it's time for the sponsored yeah. segment. Yeah. So, I am going to try out the cone jack sponge. Wake up your complexion! Uh, these, this company messaged me a long time ago and I, well, they wanted me to try out their tattoo, uh, tattoo sponge. And to me this looked like a scrub. Like I thought it was supposed to be like hard and scrubbing. <laughs> uh, so I was like, fuck no, I'm not gonna scrub my new tattoos. Uh, granted, now I don't have any fresh tattoos to try this tattoo sponge on. But the next time I do get a tattoo, I will try the sponge. Uh, but today I'm going to try a face sponge, a puppy sponge. Yes, they have a puppy sponge. And also, no, we're not going to try the gentleman's sponge because that's Sonny's. But I just wanted to get this to show you guys. And hopefully Sonny can try it out in one of his vlogs uh, in not too long. Let's read a little bit about what, what this stuff does before we start so we know what to expect because I honestly have no idea. <laughs> How to use the sponge. Uh, rinse before use and fully hydrate the sponge. Massage the skin in small circular movements with a damp sponge. Cleanser at this point is optional so you don't have to cleanse your face while doing this. Um, Rinse the sponge after use and squeeze out your excess water. Hang in a cool and ventilated area. Change sponge every one to three months. Refines pores, skin feels smooth and soft, works with or without cleanser. The unique cellular structure of the sponge will help clean and soothe the tattoo area and reduce the likelihood of large scabs forming. So I'm guessing this is immediately after getting your tattoo before the scabbing starts because after the scabbing starts you can't be rubbing because then the scabs will fall off, which is a bad thing. So I guess that's pretty nice. I mean, everyone who's got a new tattoo knows how sore they are, like the day after or the evening of when you remove the plastic, if you've had plastic on it and you, there's like gunk all over it and you have to like gently clean it and it just hurts. So hopefully this can be a good alternative um, that really get, gets it clean, but also is gentle on your tattoo. The reason why I contacted them is because a lot of dogs, uh, especially like French Bulldogs, other Bulldogs, um, a lot of white dogs has, have this issue, um, but obviously also these dogs. <laughs> Rascal. Um, he has like a fold right below his eyes where his tear ducts kind of run into the folds and they can get this color, get this coloration in, in these folds then and if you don't take care of that it can get infected which is bad obviously so rascal has a little bit of discoloration but it's easily like taken care of you just have to like uh, clean it dry it and then put a little bit of stuff out there that we have um, but this is apparently good to use to wipe those areas on on the puppy cleansing doggy sponge okay let's see okay it feels like a regular... I mean, you can imagine. This is what it sounds like. And it has this little hanger thing so you can hang it to dry once you've used it. Ah. <gasps> it's getting softer. Wow. Okay, let's give it a go. 
go. Okay, so the verdict. <laughs> I don't see how this can, I mean, it says that it can be used without cleanser, but it feels very pointless. However, I mean, if you have cleanser on your face, you like rub your face, clean it, clean it, and then you use this to take it off, it feels amazing. It feels so refreshing. Um, I don't know, I just think this could work really well, I don't know. But now let's try the puppy sponge. Rascal! Yahoo! He's weedy! Okay, so the puppy is actually not allowed in here, but shh, don't tell anyone. Okay, so this sponge is way less dense than the face one that I just used. Come here, sweetie. Come here. Good boy, sit. Can we try? I mean, he hates getting it done, so it's not like this makes it easier. Um, <laughs> sweetie. Um, and also, it's very important that you keep it dry, and this won't exactly dry it. This will just clean it. So I'm probably going to have to grab a cotton pad or some paper anyway, just to get it really dry before we moisturize. Please, baby. Baby. Good. There you go. Mmm, good boy. What is this? What is this? What is this? I just cleaned these floors. I just cleaned these floors, baby. Oh, you little baby. Oh, you baby. So, my final thoughts. Um, it really does seem like a nice product. I mean, if you're into face care, skin care is probably called, um, I would say it's worth checking out. I mean, some people like sponges, some people don't. I'm not gonna tell you that like, you need this sponge in your life. But if you're into this kind of stuff, if you're into trying new things, if you're into like natural organic stuff that's vegan and cruelty free and all that, um, I have nothing bad to say about it. I really don't. Ooh, my face actually feels pretty soft. <laughs> I'll leave the link in the description to these sponges, but that's that. Thank you guys for listening and watching.